obviously very sad to be here today. I think uh, it is incredibly important that Irish citizens stand and uh, make their views known in absolute opposition to the illegal and appalling intervention by the US in uh, internal Venezuelan affairs. Uh, there's no secret about the fact that for many years now the US administration has sought to destabilise the Venezuelan economy through manipulation of oil prices and the illegal and sanctions which have actually resulted in the deaths of many Venezuelans. Their efforts to recognise this coup are just the final straw in their long campaign and we as ordinary people stand in full solidarity with the ordinary people of Venezuela and across Latin America whose history show us that all that will come of US intervention is blood. Uh, we stand for peace and for uh, the continuation of the workers' government in Venezuela. Without the US, Latin America would have had a full democracy probably up to 100 years ago. It's been delayed mainly because of interference. This started way back in the 50s, the first um, intrusion, and that was in Guatemala. Um, without these intrusions, who knows what advances and progress Latin America could have made. We wouldn't have had Pinochet, we wouldn't have, Stro wouldn't have had Stroessner, we wouldn't have had any of those monsters, Somoza in Nicaragua. So here we are, and how long are we going to have to do this till they get the message? Hands off Venezuela, hands off Latin America. And everywhere that America has interfered with, because of oil and profits, uh, they've left carnage. And it's the people of Venezuela that I'm here to support. It's not my job, nor should it be my job, to decide who the Venezuelans elect as their leader. I mean, I'm here because it's, we accept and advocate the concept that it's the people of all these independent countries to decide who should run them. It certainly isn't mine, uh, but they are the legitimate government and they've been recognised by the vast majority of the states in the world uh, up to this coup as the legitimate government and uh, I think they remain the legitimate government. Maduro, dictator. We are here to stand against the revolt of the rich, some of whose representatives or their children are here with us today. They don't speak for the ordinary Venezuelan people. We know that the people of Venezuela are suffering enormous economic hardship as we meet here tonight. We know that that hardship was imposed by the manipulation of oil prices by the Western power and by the illegal US sanctions which the UN Special Rapporteur has said has caused the murder and deaths of Venezuelan people. It is sanctions and violence that has caused the destruction, not the Venezuelan government. And we're glad to have seen through the lies of the media in this regard. The Americans are usually fairly good in the invading part, right? It's a bit after it's a bit afterwards that they get they do they cock it all up because they haven't thought about the consequences. Our own government are under coming under massive pressure to succumb to the United States line on this matter, and we're here to send them a message to talk to our fellow Irish people about what's actually happening in Venezuela and to tell the United States representatives in Ireland that their regime change in Latin America was not welcome in the 1980s and it's not welcome now. Isn't it absolutely sickening to see the slavish kowtowing of the European establishment here, here, here. running here, here, here. behind the US like little lapdogs? Here, here, here. We've seen Macron stand over record violence against the Yellow Vest protesters with a popularity rating far lower than anything Maduro has and he has the neck to call on Venezuela to reconvene elections when they've just had elections which there was no problem with. So you're not talking about a saint here. He's a human being, he makes mistakes, his governments make mistakes. But that's not the issue. The issue is it's a sovereign state and it should not be interfered with by imperial powers or any other powers for that matter. It's the hypocrisy within Venezuela. The right wing within Venezuela are calling for an election. They're saying we will respect the result of the election. Let's be clear about this. Did they respect the result of the Chavez election? No. Did no. They? no, they didn't. 
from the day the Chavez was elected, they set about undermining his presidency, undermining the economy, planning for a political and military coup. Be absolutely clear about it. The right in Venezuela have no interest in democracy. They never have and they never will. What it is at stake here is democracy, economic democracy, social democracy and equality in Venezuela. If the government falls, what will replace them will be a horrific right-wing dictatorship as it's coming into place in Brazil and the other countries across Latin America. That is what is at stake here. We on the left should take no truck and take no lessons from Donald Trump talking about democracy or from the right wing in Venezuela talking about democracy. They know nothing. They don't know the meaning of the word. They are set out from the outset to overthrow and undermine the democratic Bolivarian revolution. And we are here today to support that revolution and take a stand against US imperialism everywhere. Thank you. Venezuela! Venezuela!